Dr. Helen Jabba, a psychiatrist at the Ventuk Central Hospital Psychiatric Unit, says mental health and mental disorders are some of the medical issues that have been neglected due to ignorance and stigma attached with the illness. We all need to be healthy, to be mentally healthy. If we are not mentally healthy, you will not be able to function. And the brain serve as the catalyst of our body. If your brain is not function, then you will not be able to do anything. Dr. Njaba dismissed talks that witchcraft is to be blamed for mental illnesses, but rather that mental disorders are caused by the disturbance in chemical processes in the brain. In our brain, there are chemicals that regulate what we do, what we think, all the activities. And when something goes wrong, then the person develops a mental disorders. Uh, there is something which we call serotonin, then the dopamine, and the rest. And when those become less or become more, because somebody was exposed to something, whether it's a stressful event or whether a substance that the person has used, she warns against alcohol and drug abuse as it only exacerbate the risk of mental disorders. Mental disorders such as bipolar and schizophrenia are hereditary but can also be aggravated by environmental or social factors, while post-traumatic disorders is a result when a person is exposed to traumatic events such as violence and or war. The psychiatrist says family members have never been excluded from the treatment process and are the mainstay of health care for their relatives with mental illness. She said in fact medication is often entirely supervised by a family member while the patient is only a passive participant. There are currently only two government mental facilities to cater for patients in the whole country. Over 26,000 patients were treated at Oshakati and Ventuk Central Hospitals respectively for mental illness in 2015 compared to over 9,000 two years ago. Dr. Njaba says the admission needs of mental patients is often costly and members of the public, civil societies, corporate as well as religious organizations can meet government halfway. So I just organize my colleagues so that we can contribute something because I'm from mental health and I'm happy to be with them. Nursing students from the University of Namibia. So we are just here to give the little tokens to our patients, our mental patients, because we as nurses, we have to be there for the, for the patients. So we just decided to give them something, a small token. We all need to be mentally healthy in order to function effectively and efficiently. While it's important to guard against mental disorder, it is equally important not to discriminate those with mental illness for their part of our society and it affects us all one way or the other. I'm Daniel Nadumia, NBC News, Vent Hook.